Hi everyone, I'm Kremlin here for the Techies, and today I'm going to show you how to make a screw in 3ds Max. I'm going to show you this because it's kind of cool, and I just learned how to do it, and it shows you how to do some pretty neat stuff. So, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is make a cone, which will be like the shaft of the uh, screw, and that looks kind of not right, so let's reduce that radius. Okay, we're good. And let's flip it upside down because um, screws all are upside down and whatnot, uh, usually. So, yeah, there we go. And now the interesting bit, it's not the cone, it's actually the thread that we're going to put on it, and that we are going to do through some sweeping. So, first we need to get the shapes into the shapes tab right here and we're going to do a helix. That's going to give us the path that we're going to sweep the thread around. So go ahead and select that and um, just get the bottom radius there, move it up, and you want it about the same height as your cone here. And second radius, we don't have to worry about that right now. If you've never messed with the helix before, <clears throat> it probably looks something like this, which is obviously not what we want. Um, first thing you want to do is increase the turns right here to, I don't know, like 10 is good right now, um, maybe a bit less, but that we can mess with that later. And then you can see that this doesn't match up with the cone at all, so let's change that. You want to turn the this radius right here, probably not all the way down to zero, but close to there, since it's descending to a point, and then that will be like that and let's move this on top of our cone so we can judge this a little better and I'm just gonna eyeball this here you can align it better <laughs> if you want it to take more time I'm gonna increase this increase that so just I know what I'm doing okay cool now the interesting part is going into the modify tab which you should be there already and down in the modifier list <clears throat> you're going to select the sweep modifier and you get crazy things. This modifier, it takes a shape and it like sweeps it all the way around your uh, spline that you did there and right now you can see that it's kind of crazy all over the place. Um, first thing you need to change in here to get it the way we want it is to change this shape right here. We're gonna make it a bar and then that'll be like a a uh, square. <laughs> you can see right there the original shape, um, but it still looks like garbage. So we got to change this up a bit. Let's change this size of it down a bit. Okay. And what really makes the difference here is going all the way down here and turning off banking. And there you can see that it's all uniform and stuff. And it's still kind of big though. So I'm gonna change this down really quick. Okay. All right. Now you want those around the same size. And now um, our thread is kind of weird, it's not going to do anything. To get it all pointy and stuff like a real thread is, we're going to change the angle up a bit and um, yeah, around 45 should be good. Um, yeah, that's good right there, exactly 45 in fact. And now there you go, you can see what I'm doing here. And, but you see that this, this um, thread isn't attached. All we can do with that, we can either mess with the helix, which is still accessible, which is awesome, or you can select the shaft right here and make that bigger, which is probably an easier option for us right now. So I'm going to do that, scale it up a bit, and, yep, and move it because we want that. Scale it sideways. I want to do this kind of wellish. So, uh, well, I mean, yeah, there you go. You get the point. It's all fine tuning from here. And then, if you wanted to add a cap to this screw, you can, I don't know, do a sphere or something. Put that on there and then hemisphere that away. There you go. Something like that. And then you can Boolean out a little rectangle out of that to get the where the screwdriver goes in but yeah you get the idea there you go there's your screw and uh, to put everything together make it look nice you can um, uh, boolean it together 
and it'll be cool. And one last thing that I want to show you is how much you can do with this thread still now that it's on there. It's all positions and stuff, so you can mess with it. You can um, select the helix here, and if you wanted like less of a thread here, you can just turn the turns down like that, and it'll be cool. <laughs> but yeah, you can see that you can do all sorts of stuff here. It's it's nice. I like it. Um, and increase the height if you want to, if you want to make it go all the way into the cap or only part of the way down. There you go, you can do that. Um, and as for the tip right here, um, I, don't, I'm not, I don't think that there's a way to automatically get rid of that tip, but you can just convert the whole thing to an editable poly while, once you um, boolean it and then just mess with the vertices there. It's not that hard. You can see it's, yeah, it's, it's good. So yeah, that's the basics of a screw, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. This has been Kremlin for the Techies. Please visit th3techies.com if you want to see more tutorials like this.